Hi, I am Sayadun Mass Online. Today's topic will be conformal transformation. In the previous video, we have seen conformal transformation of W is equals to Z square. So in this class, we are going to see the conformal transformation of W is equals to e power of z. So let us try to discuss the transformation. Discuss the transformation W is equals to e power of z. As we know that the value of z is x plus i y and the value of w is nothing but u plus i v so if you plug this value back over here in w is equals to e power of z this is what it is given so just plug in the value of w here the value of w is u plus i v is equals to here the value of z is nothing but x plus i times of y or further if i try to rewrite this one e power of x into e power of i y so e power of x plus i y can be written as e power of x into e power of i y so this can be further written in the form of e power of x and we know the value of e power of i y is nothing but cos of y plus i sin of y Further, if I try to multiply this value, it becomes e power of x into cos of y plus i into, again multiply e power of x inside, it becomes e power of x into sin of y. So now, on both the sides, we just try to equate the real terms and the imaginary terms. So, equate, equate the real and imaginary terms equate the real and imaginary terms so the value of u in this case the real term will be e power of x into cos of y and the imaginary terms are nothing but the coefficient of i so left hand side you have v on the right hand side we have e power of x into sine of y. So we have got the real term as well as the imaginary term. So now we have to see that how does this uh, z plane will map into the w plane. For that we will try to get some standard equation using these two u and v. So for that what we will try to do is uh, we will try to get the uh, value of x and y from these two expressions for that what I'll try to do is uh, I'll just try to square and add these two values squaring and adding squaring and adding we'll be getting u square plus v square is equal to so I'm just squaring and adding the left hand side in the same way I will try to square and add the right hand side value. So u value is e power of x. So it becomes e power of x into cos y. I need to square that one. Plus v value over oh, here is e power of x into sin y. So e power of x into sin y and it is squared. Now further if you try to simplify this one. So this becomes e power of. Just multiply this. x into 2 will be 2x you will be getting here cos square of y plus here e power of x power of 2 will become e power of 2x this sine y will become sine square of y so if you try to observe over here e power of 2x is common in both the terms so I will be taking e power of 2x as common so if you take e power of 2x as common I will be left out with cos square of y Plus here I will be left out with sine square of y. 
So, but we know the value of cos square y plus sin square y will be nothing but 1. So, its value is 1. So, e power of 2x into 1 will be e power of 2x itself. So, this value will become 1. So, we have got the value of u square plus v square to be equals to e power of 2x. So, we have one expression u square plus v square will be equals to e power of 2x. Now, Again from this u and v, I will just try to divide this expression. Divide what value? v by u. So if you just try to divide this v by u, so v value as we know it is e power of x into sin y. So e power of x into sin of y. Whole divided by u. So u value is known, it is e power of x into cos of y. So it is e power of x into cos of y. However, this e power of x, e power of x will cancel out, we will be left out with, so this will cancel out, we will be left out with sin of y by cos of y. But we know sin by cos will be tan, so we will be getting tan of y. So we have got the value of v by u to be equals to tan of y. We have got one expression in terms of x over here, u square plus v square is equals to e power of 2x. I have got another expression v by u to be equals to tan of y. That is the reason why in the first case I have squared and added so that I get in terms of x. In the second case what I have done, I have divided v by u so that I can get in this form in terms of y. So we have got v by u to be equals to tan of y. So let us try to... Uh, simplify these uh, two expressions. Let me take this as a equation number 1. Let me take this as say equation number 2. So now I need to map the z plane into the w plane. So for that different cases will arise over here. So let us try to take those different cases. Case number 1 so let us take the value of x to be some constant say c1 x is equals to c1 where the c1 is a constant c1 is a constant so in that case let us try to plug in this x is equals to c1 in equation number 1 because uh, x is there in equation number 1 so we'll try to plug in over here we have u square plus v square to be e power of 2x. So, x value I have taken it as the constant c1. See what it becomes. So, if I put it over here, it becomes u square plus v square to be equals to, it is e power of 2 times of x value here I have taken it as c1. So, e power of 2 times of c1. So, this e power of 2 times of c1 is nothing but a constant. So, this is nothing but a constant. So, if I take that constant to be equals to say r square, so I will be getting the value to be equals to u square plus v square to be equals to r square. So, what is the reason that I have taken it as r square? I would have taken any constant. The reason why I have taken this value to be r square over here is that because I know u square plus v square should be equals to. So, it is similar to the equation of a circle x square plus y square is equals to r square. I already have this x square plus y square which is in the form of u square plus v square. I should only get that r square value. So, because r the radius is a constant therefore, I am taking r square over here. So, that it becomes the equation of a circle. So, now x is equals to c1 is in the z plane. So, in the z plane you have x is equals to c1. So, that x is equals to c1 represents a straight line. So, that straight line is mapping into the w plane which is the equation of a circle. So, this is the equation of the circle which center as the origin. So, therefore, we can write. So, this represents. This represents a circle with center as with center as origin and radius is r in this case and radius is 
or and this where it is in the w plane in the w plane so x is equals to c1 which is a straight line in the z plane will be mapping into the circle in the w plane so this is the first case that we have got now let us move on to case number 2 case 2 so this is for x there is one more equation that we have that is equation number 2 it is v by u to be equals to tan y in terms of y so now let us take the value for y so y also i'll be taking it as a constant say c2 so y is equals to c2 will also represent a straight line in the z plane now i have to check this z plane will map into the w plane as what type of figure so for that uh, let us simplify so this c2 is a constant where c2 is a constant c2 is a constant so we have the equation v by u is equals to this is tan of y so this is from equation 2 have taken from equation 2 have taken this value but the value of y is c2 so it is v by u to be equals to the tan of c2 so we got v by u to be equals to tan of c2 but what is this tan so tan represents the slope so if i take the slope to be equals to say m so it represents a slope tan c2 will be equals to m or if i try to cross multiply v will be equals to cross multiply this u on the other side it becomes m times of u so what is this v is equals to m times of u represent so what does this represent it represents the equation of a straight line equation of a straight line so what type of a straight line it represents the equation of straight line because plus c is zero so which means that this straight line passes through the origin equation of straight line passing through origin passing through origin so this is the standard equation of a straight line passing through the origin so here also you have v is equals to m times of u so this will also represents a straight line so this represents a straight line equation of a straight line equation of a straight line equation of a straight line passing through passing through the origin passing through the origin so this is in which plane in the w plane so this is in the w plane Now, since we have got these two cases, so let us try to plot the graph for these two cases. So let me plot for the z plane over here. So if I take the z plane, so this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So this is in the z plane. Now, if I take in the z plane, the first case that we have, x is equals to c1. so this represents a straight line in the z plane so suppose if i am taking this c1 over here so this will be the straight line so this is x is equals to c1 it represents the straight line x is equals to c1 similarly case number 2 you have taken y is equals to c2 it represents a straight line so y is equals to c2 somewhere if i take on y c2 so this will be your y is equals to c2 so y is equals to c2 represents a another line so two straight lines here now this has to be mapped into the w plane so we know that x is equals to c1 this straight line is mapping as what over here it is mapping as this circle u square plus v square is equals to r square it is mapping as a circle with the center as the origin and radius as r so let me write down in this way so this represents your w plane and this is the circle you have right so this is u this is v and it represents the 
W plane. So this x is equals to c1. This straight line which is there. So this straight line that you have x is equals to c1 is mapping into the circle which is the center as the origin. And what is the radius over here? The radius is equals to r. So radius over here. So this radius is nothing but r over here. Right. So x is equals to c1 is mapping into the circle. Now go for case number 2. Case number 2 you have this straight line y is equals to c2. So this is mapping into where? It is mapping into the straight line passing through the origin. That is v is equals to mu. So let me write down this circle is nothing but u square plus v square is equals to r square. Now the second one is the straight line passing through the origin. So if I draw a straight line passing through the origin, so this will be the straight line passing through the origin. Alright, so this represents the straight line V is equals to M times of U. Straight line passing through the origin. So that is how you can see that X is equals to C1 is mapping into a circle in the W plane. Y is equals to C2 in the Z plane is mapping into a straight line in the W plane. That's the discussion about the transformation W is equals to e power of Z. So that's all I have for today. Thank you.